Hello gamers! Hi! Hi <laughs> Yellow! Hi Zen! Yeah, that sounded like me. That was my USB. I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't on your end. It was this guy! Hi Side Piece! Hi Falcon and Yellow and Zen. You were right. <laughs> it's always me. If you ever are like in the starting soon screen for my stream and you hear a, a suspicious USB noise, it's not your end. It's always me. I'm always plugging in something or unplugging something before stream. Either like my headset was charging, my wireless headset was charging and I unplug it before stream, or I realize my controller is not plugged in and I plug that in before stream. It's always something. <laughs> There's always a USB sound for some reason or other, but hello, how are you all? I'm gonna try something new. Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is Mr. Falcon's new SFX, which if you are an Elden Ring fan, you might recognize was um, Egon. I almost said Bale. It was Egon's laugh after you killed the dual drakes. Or actually, I only killed one of them. And then he did that laugh like I killed both of them. Because I killed the big one first and he was like, ha ha, you did it. And then the little dragon was still beating me up. <laughs> but yes, it's so good, Falcon. Oh, how are you all? How was your weekend? What did I miss? What have you been up to? It's been so long. It's been two days since we've hung out. That's like a lifetime. I hope you're all doing well. Also, I'm sorry I'm really late. I should probably address that. Um, Yeah, I'm like 34 minutes late, but you know what? Spiegel's been having a birthday stream, so it's, you know, you all could have somewhere to hang out, whether I was here or not. Has everybody said happy birthday to Spiegel yet? It's Spiegel's birthday today. If you haven't, I'm giving you full permission to leave my stream and go to Spiegel's stream. Um, but if you haven't said happy birthday yet, go tell Spiegel happy birthday. <laughs> go tell him. If you haven't yet, well, this is the perfect time to do it. Vanessa, twice, hello. Who's gonna finish Vanessa's twice? Oh, my arms are sore. I've been starting to do yoga again. I've been trying to get back into daily yoga and I'm on day three of my daily yoga and my arms are so sore. I was lucky you started late. Why were you lucky that I started late? I actually, well, part of the reason I was late, I just, I actually like typed out a whole message of the announcements of like how I'm not streaming today and all this stuff because I'm having a bad brain day and I'm just not going to stream. I'm going to take a mental health day. But then I was like, no, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go and it's going to be fine. I do this a lot where I like type out an announcement about how I'm not streaming today. And then right before I hit send, I'm like, no, I can do it. <laughs> so that was part of why I was late today because I was like planning to not stream because I was having kind of a rough day. But then I was like, I bet once I get there, I'll be totally fine and I'll see some of my friends there and I'll be ch it'll be chill. And I was right. I already saw all my cute friends. I saw Zen and Falcon and Vanessa and Side Piece and Yellow Can. And so it's chill. We're chilling today. I, oh, you were troubleshooting some PC stuff. What PC stuff are you troubleshooting? Chill or else? Yeah, okay, I'm trying. I'm chilling. I got a LaCroix. I got a Pamplemousse LaCroix. I got, I love the Pamplemousse flavor because I love saying that word. Dear, happy 37 months. Yeah, let's go. Dear. Thank you for the support. I love you. Thank you. Wave. Hi, Andrew. Andrew, that picture, that picture of you in the Discord is so hot. Hello. Jocks, hi. Danny, hi. Hannah, hi. You saw your side piece. Side piece is the username of someone in this room. I do not have a side piece outside of side piece XX. I love troubleshooting and working on computers. You love troubleshooting? Okay, maybe you love troubleshooting on like other people's computer, but it's not fun when your computer is not working, is it? Andrew! Happy 10 months! Thank you! Hey, look at that. Thank you so much. Everybody want to see a really hot picture of Andrew? It's like, it's crazy. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was so attracted. Um, I think my RAM is worked. Oof, I decided that I'm gonna buy a new RAM and hope that fixes it. I hope it does fix it. And you know what? Might as well upgrade. You know, if you're buying new RAM anyways, might as well get more RAM. <laughs> you got one now, yeah. I've been building and working on computers for over 20 years and you still love it? You haven't gotten sick of it? You're just like, I love it. This is the best. But like, I feel like this, like when you're troubleshooting at someone else's computer, that's a, like problem solving. Maybe it could be fun. But if it's your own computer that you depend on, is that not stressful if you're like, oh god, I need to use this right now, I gotta figure out the problem? Or you're still like, 
Woo! A problem to solve! Joy! This is fun! <laughs> I already have 32 gigabits of RAM. That seems like enough. Yeah, I think that's enough. I mean, you could always go to 64. No one's stopping you. <laughs> all right, let me find this incredibly hot picture of Andrew so you all can see. Oh my God. Look at this. Tell me this isn't the hottest man you've seen in your life. Double cheeked up, the roundest cheeks. You will never find a body like this anywhere else. <laughs> this is the ideal human form. Whether you like it or not. Oh my god, I just realized Texas engineer Mike also has giant boobs, I think. I just, they blend into the floor, so I didn't notice it at first, but I'm pretty sure that Andrew also has a giant rack. A man named Mike Mason with that shirt. There's nothing wrong with the name Mike. Uh, you miss troubleshooting hardware, really? Uh, today I was trying to get a printer to work and I was not having joy to my heart from it, so maybe I should have called you all in since you love troubleshooting hardware. You could have figured out those printer stuff printers just are bad and don't work ever also i want to say okay tell me if i'm wrong since a lot of you seem to know a lot about computers and troubleshooting and devices tell me if i'm wrong here but i feel like if you're ever trying to add a device a printer anything to any other device to get it to recognize it if it doesn't auto detect the device and put it in the device list Choosing, I don't see my device entering that stuff manually will never work. If it doesn't, if the auto recognizer doesn't recognize it, you're toast. Like, none of the other stuff is gonna work either. That's at least has been in my experience. Is that, can I, usually, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, what's the point? What's the point of like, okay, enter the IP address, enter the name manually. No, like, if it didn't auto detect it, it your, your day is over, go to bed, die, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> That's what it should say when it doesn't detect your device. It should say go to bed and die. I always enjoy it. I never have to really figure out a problem. At this point, something happens and I pretty much know what it, is, what it is within a few minutes. Oh, that's an incredible superpower to have. Usually it's because drivers need to be need to be installed. For printers or update drivers, we were trying to download the driver. Well, I guess we could have gone to the website to do that. That's probably what we should have done. Justin, we probably, don't you think we probably should? Yeah, we probably should. Yeah. You, I you're, thought about that, but I really didn't want to. Yeah, you're raising good points here. You're raising good points, side piece. You're supposed to just join in on me with of my hate of printers. You're not supposed to point out the fact that it could be my fault. You're supposed to just say printers are bad and you did nothing wrong, Jen. That's what you're supposed to say. Spiegel, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at your birthday stream. Get out of here. Happy birthday. Wait, let me get, wait, before, you, before I shoot you out to your birthday stream, let me get you a birthday fishy. Oh, it's ad break time. Okay, perfect time to go fishing. Wait, Seppy Guppy cast line. Oh no, not for me. It's giving me the fish. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot to put the at next to your name. Ignore this. I didn't mean to get myself a fish. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Here we go. This fish is for actually Spiegel. Um, you have started to hate the advice to update drivers. It's never solved any issue I've had and it's caused me more issues in some cases. Sometimes it's solved the issues that I've had, so I can't hate on it too much. Jen trying to do mod shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm a mod too. Why don't you accept me in the mod group then? I'm a mod too. Frento Saki Glade. Yes, that's, did you know that that is the birthday fish in my culture, which is, I don't really have a culture, but I'm, you know what? If you don't have a culture, you can make one. In my culture, that is the fish that is for birthdays. So yeah. Fake, like, hi, is that cheeks? Oh my God, you noticed? You noticed this really, this is actually a picture of Andrew. Is he Andrew from the chat? Yeah, it's official birthday fish in Florida, yeah. <laughs> Jen, this is how we get called. <laughs> yeah, what do you think you're a part of? What do you think this is? What do you think Gupville is, Vanessa? You're already in it. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone, I have today's video. Yes, for after we chat. I'm ready anytime to see the video. Is it related to Elden Ring? Because you're going to run out of Elden Ring related videos in my culture already. <laughs> Oh god. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be playing Elder Ring every day for like a hundred streams. So I think you're gonna run out of okay, K-pop videos related to Elder Ring, Vanessa. I don't know what you're gonna do. Unless you just have so many that you can relate in so many intricate ways to Elder Ring somehow. A hundred? Yeah, I'm probably gonna stream this for a hundred days. That's how long I expect it to, me to, beat the, uh, to take me to beat the DLC. 
Meowdy. Hi, Lemon. I have awakened from my nap. <gasps> good morning, sunshine. I also took a nap today. Did you have a good nap? I did. Are we still Joel in Elden Ring? No, Joel is my second playthrough guy, but I abandoned him immediately when the DLC came out and I said, uh, sorry, I'm going back to Sirius because Sirius is stronger than you and better. Bye. <laughs> but if I ever continue my second playthrough of <laughs> Elden Ring, I'll go back to Joel. <laughs> Someone like me, it would take three days, true. Yeah, you're so powerful. Um, Gormsby, hi, what's up? And Anton who, hi, welcome everybody. Gumbill Colville. <laughs> Gumbill Commune. Yes, we can model it after Midsummer. It'll be great. Um, but minus some of it. Some of that stuff, probably. It's fantasy related. <gasps> she looks like an elf to me. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I'm ready for it. Is everybody ready? Also, just to catch everyone up, if you missed it these past few days, at the beginning of stream, Vanessa, aka my friend Tired Tofu 14 in the chat, has been linking us one K-pop video per day to... Um, Educate us on K-pop or brainwash us into being uh, K-pop fans and it's working <laughs> And she's been picking a K-pop video each day that relates to the game. I'm playing that day All right, are you guys ready? Sirius is also super hot and attractive true and so is every K-pop star So Vanessa will never run out of videos. That is a good relation that you can always pull out. Ray! Hi! Oh my gosh, hello! Ray, I'm so excited for this Saturday. a lot of months that is so many months. Thank you so much for subscribing for 32 months. I love you so much. And I'm so excited. It's for you to and also, I know you all are probably craving some Ray content. So guess what? This Saturday, we're doing a joint stream. It will be here and it will be on Bailey's stream too. Um, so we're playing Chain together. I'm working on the graphic. I'm posting it tomorrow. So tomorrow you'll have, you all will have like a concrete shiny picture that says the date on it so you can remember when it is but it's this saturday yes cody's joining too it's gonna be me ray uh bailey and cody i'm so excited because originally when i saw i saw like a tiktok or something of chained together and i asked cody first i was like cody we got places like cody's like yeah yeah let's play that and then as soon as we had made our plans that we were gonna play it ray messaged me and bailey and was like what's up do you guys want to play this game and i'm like oh, i'm already committed i'm already betrothed i'm chained together with cody but then i saw that it's four player and i was like wait this is actually perfect because all four of us can play together and it will be wonderful so it's gonna be me ray bailey cody all playing chains together and we will all be chained together and it's gonna be awesome oh i miss what you said uh, side piece. Sometimes old drivers can conflict with new drivers. There's a program called Revo Uninstaller. You can uninstall any program or software with it and it will go through and find every file that came with the program. How does it know? What if you... How does it know? And it will delete them. Even if you delete things in the past, Revo will search out and delete any residual files. That's incredible, but how does it... It's got... It can't be totally foolproof. It's got to mess up sometimes and delete the most important file on your computer on accident. Hopefully it's... Um, yeah. Bailey, poor Bailey. Bailey, um, unfortunately, has COVID for the first time. Bailey's made it four years without getting COVID and unfortunately got very unlucky. Someone brought it into her house and now she's she's down with the sickness. But hopefully Bailey will be able to stream. Wolf, thank you. Happy to my Smiley face. Thank you so much, Wolf. You are so sweet. Thank you for supporting my stream. Smiley face to you too. All right, you all ready for this K-pop video that Vanessa sent? It's called Welcome Back to This U.S. Open. It's office called Welcome Miller Back just to This U.S. Open. Miller just lobbed a message way over Jones's head plan. using some. No, it's called Invu. I don't know what Invu means, but maybe once we listen to the song, we will understand what Invu means. Um, by Taeyeon. You've never had COVID either. That's amazing. And Zen either. You are the survivors of civilization. You must carry on the human race. The rest of us are goners. It's about to be so chaotic.
hit the U different. I need to see her do that again. Whatever major loser code is. Hi, Piss Bucket. This is Elder Ring. What do you mean this isn't Elder Ring? This is definitely Elder Ring. Look at it. Look. There's the stars, shooting stars at Elder, Elder Ring. I will be sad when you don't come bring a video with me, but I'm not <laughs> Remember those circles in the underground area of Elder Ring with the big balls that rolled at you and killed you? That's what that was referencing. to. See? Look, they're coming to kill her. <gasps> oh no, wrong girl. Tsunami, hi! And Verdon is very God Mars coded. True, yeah. Uh, Tayana is your favorite Game of Thrones character. Is there actually a Game of Thrones character named Tayana, or you make it a joke? Or both? <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you for your fine selection. I loved it so much. I very much enjoyed that. I'm going to even watch this. Watch what I'm about to do. You're not going to believe this. See this? Oh, you can't even see my cursor. What the heck? How are you going to see what I'm about to do? It's so important. Ready, ready? Why can't you see my cursor? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well, you're just gonna have to... There it is. Yeah, I even gave it a like. That's how much I liked it. Some songs doesn't need a billion of views to be called a masterpiece. Yeah. My MBTI is IMVU. Yes. She's literally a goddess in this music video. 2024 to forever, anyone? Yes. Still love the song in 2024. Same girl. I also still love this song in 2024. <laughs> Jen has a little gremlin living inside her that puts its head out in times of frustration, and that's beautiful. <laughs> I do. I. You know what I, what I thought of when I did that voice? When I was like, oh, here is my cursor, or whatever. It reminded me of, um, don't look at that. That's embarrassing. Um, we were... I, I was uh, watching a Hot Ones interview of Lupita Young over the weekend, and um, she was talking about how- have you all seen the movie Us? I'm, I'm coming to your house, chop your little fingers- wait, what? Um, excuse me? You're disliking? Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? Also, Hannah, you cannot- you cannot threaten violence against the beautiful community of Gutville. You can't just do that. You can't just come in here and threaten to cut someone's fingers off, Hannah. Control yourself. <laughs> Oh my god. New but Envy? Yes, that could be a Fallout New Vegas reference. You're so right, Wolf. Run, girl, run. <laughs> oh, but there's Tyrion. Oh, close enough. Google Bow Path OG the Teal Lotus. It comes out tomorrow. Okay. Is the game? I'll allow it. Zen! You, you need to protect our community! <laughs> Hi! Welcome, bad and, well, bad and Well. Welcome. How are you? What does FJB mean? Wait, let him cook. Excuse me. Wolf, don't worry. I'm on your side. I would never let Hannah do this to you. Black spotted grunt. Let's go. What other fish you get in? Hi, AFS. His name is Satan. It's fairly tame for him to chop fingers off. Actually, her name is Satan. That uh, Dark Lord Satan in the chat is a she, and you should be very afraid of her. <laughs> Oh, FJB is fucked up. Okay, I don't know. Bingo. Travis Tim Leon, yes! <laughs> that seems like an agitator coming in just trying to start shit. I don't even care for Joe Biden, but that's just too much to come in here and have that be your first message. Anyways. Anyways. Not the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't disagree, but I'm certain that was a Trump guy. <laughs> yes, you need to do <laughs> FJB parentheses, but also FT. <laughs> FDT. <laughs> he just wants to fuck the president. Love is love. That's so right. Oh my god, Hannah, you're right. We're, why are we oppressing them? That's so true. A vibes ruiner for sure. For sure. Uh, what was I about to Google? I was about to Google something Gorbs told me to Google, and I already forgot what it was. I'm scrolling up. Um, where was it? Oh, Bow Path OG the Teal Lotus. Let's see what this is. Uh, 
Oh, Bo Path of the Tealers. Why did I? <laughs> What kind of game is this? Is this kind of like a Metroidvania type game? <laughs> this looks Hollow Knight inspired. <laughs> I think someone played Hollow Knight that's on the step team. This looks cute. I like it, it looks awesome. Tell me how it is. Are you gonna play it, Gorsby? Yeah, the OG was enough. Sorry, it took me way too long to realize that. But Google realized it for me. Metroidvania with Okami art. Cool. That's really cool. I'm deaf gonna play it. Yes, I want to hear about it. Um, Pride is over. No! <laughs> Pride is forever. Um, are you guys ready to play some Elden Ring? Guess what? I left off on a fight that I was struggling with. But okay, here's what's the game. So I was having a bad mental health day today which i mentioned was why i was late because i was thinking about canceling the stream because i was not in a good headspace but now i'm fine because i'm here which is what always happens but i was thinking i was like oh my god i'm like in this horrible headspace and also i'm fighting that boss i don't like today that i'm so bad at but then i realized maybe this is an opportunity maybe it will feel good to focus my mind on a task that's very challenging for me and I will grow and learn from it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I will grow and learn from this boss fight that I, this is the first boss that I didn't immediately think I liked. Yeah, Senesax, Senesax is the boss, it's a dragon. Red Jester Productions, Pride Month over, but Rad Month is now, let's go. Everybody get mad. Such a therapist thing to say. Is that what Kaisenot's therapist said to him? When he had the therapist on stream, I didn't actually like see what she said. I just saw that he had a therapist on stream. I thought that was so funny to help him beat the final boss of Elden Ring. Wait, you're stuck on him too? Okay, what do you think about this boss? Because at first, okay, so at first I was like, oh, I like fighting dragons. I know how to fight a dragon. I'm going to fight this dragon how I always fight dragons. And then I quickly realized how I always fight dragons doesn't work against him. Because, well, you can't lock onto his legs, which is my usual strategy. And he has so many like ground effects, af like aftershocks of all his abilities. Um, so I realized, okay, I can't really lock on to him, so I can't always see what he's doing. So I realized this is an opportunity to learn to fight in a new way that I'm not used to fighting, which is kind of like fighting not locked on and relying more on audio cues than visual cues, which is fun to try to like adapt to. Cause usually I do, I rely on some audio cues for some moves, but the vast majority of boss moves I rely on visual cues for. So I feel like learning how to not lock on not be able to see the whole picture but here like if i'm if i'm like just close to his leg and i can't see what he's doing i can still hear what he's doing and that's what i'm trying to focus on to get better at paying attention to the sounds so that i don't need to see what he's doing to be able to react at the right time the lock on thing threw me off yeah that's the hardest part of it i found it way too hard but i'm only skidoo level 12 i think i'm like 13 i think i'm like one ahead of you but i also found it really hard we're, about, well, we're about, to, about to go play right now, so let's do it. I'm at, let's do death predictions too. I'm at 475 deaths. So if you would like to make a prediction for the end of stream of how many deaths I'm gonna have, um, you can bet with your channel points. I'm gonna put it out right now. You can bet one if you're a true believer and you think I'm gonna end the stream in about four hours with 475 to 400. We'll do increments 20. It might be optimistic, but uh, 475 to 495 deaths. If you are a corporate believer, you can guess two for 496 to 516 deaths. And if you are a barely believer, you can guess three for 517 to 537 deaths. And if you are a certified hater, you can guess four. If you think I'm gonna have 538 or more deaths by the end of the stream, did I do those numbers right? Maybe. Well, if I didn't, someone will tell me and then I'll redo it. <laughs> Someone will tell me two hours later if I did the numbers wrong. That's what I can always count on. Okay, let's play. And the song just ended perfect timing. Oop. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Let's get in there and and learn. I would say let's beat this guy, but I don't think we're going to beat him yet. I think we need to get in there and learn more about him to then get to the point where we can beat him. Let's get in there and learn, class. Let's study this dragon. We are all gonna be, what do you call people who study animals? 
we're gonna go in and study Asinaxis in his enclosure and learn everything there is to know about him. I'll keep track of the numbers. You can trust me with these things. Okay, yes, you're in charge of all the numbers, Spike. Um, to be fair, I do. Yeah, not unlock on skills. I'm trying. To be fair, I do agree that you should be able to lock onto the legs of this boss, but also it's not that big a deal if you can fight without lock on. It feels definitely intentional. Like, there's got to be a reason that they didn't let you lock on to the legs of this dragon. And they, yeah, zoologist. We'll all be zoologists. A dragonologist. <laughs> Dracoologist. We're going to learn everything. We're going to learn how he eats, how he sleeps, how he poops, how he scratches his butt. We're going to know everything about this dragon. And that is how we're going to take him down through knowledge. At the end of this previous session, quick gamer returned us up my nub as I did. <laughs> Who would do that? I would, I would never quit the game in a bad way. Oh my god. I wouldn't do that. The numbers are the same as always, I think, but I'm not sure why you usually pick 21 death intervals. Okay, so I do that because it's easier, it's easier addition. And I know I say 20. Some luck for the fight. I know it's 21 inclusive. Thank you, Ray! <laughs> Thank you for, oh, 300 bitties, that's three fish. Oh my God, Ray, thank you for the clovers and the good luck. I hope you get some lucky fish for that. We, I've heard that clovers as bait gets better fish or in spine unicorn fish, that's rare. I'm telling you, it's confirmed. Clover bait gets luckier fish. It works. <laughs> I know how he scratches his butt very carefully. <laughs> Have you seen them claws? I don't see him doing it carefully. I think he just rips that shit up and then it just magic heals fast because he's a magical dragon. Branch! Okay. <laughs> Theory destroyed. The clover bait does not get you luckier fish. I lied. <laughs> but just think about all the fun things you can do with that branch. You can throw it and then run after it and get it and then throw it again and then run after it and get it. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> Two duds and one rare fish. That's a win, right? That sounds terrible. <laughs> what do you mean? That sounds so fun. And you can do it in this outrageous, unprecedented heat of the summer. It's unprecedented heat wave summer in 2024. Come on, get out there and throw your stick. I guess I'm still a believer, even though to I'm a little unsure luck. about it. I'm, I'm unsure about you doing that too, but thank you. Also, I don't think I'm centered on camera. To counter the good luck, Jameson! Lucky me! <laughs> Jameson, thank you for the biddies. Okay, funny. Those are those tubes are hilarious. Am I right? Have you seen those metal tubes? Those are hilarious metal tubes. <laughs> there ain't nothing funnier than a metal tube. <laughs> why, why, why is not everyone cracking up and crying laughing? Yeah, there we go. That's the Curse proper response, going. right? Yes, Jameson! Yes! <laughs> You'll love to see it. So, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's the proper response to seeing the funny metal tube. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but I switched game engines. <gasps> so this weekend has been very busy. That would be very busy. What made you switch completely? What was wrong with the other one? Carp! Let's go! It's not junk. It's actual fish. That's a win. Dragons have skin made of stone though. My must be nice to use massive claws to scratch stone skin. That's how I feel when I scratch uh, Justin's back because I it, can I tell them that you, can I tell them this? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I already started. You he already likes. Started. He, well, he likes back scratches, so I will scratch his back. Um, but then he's like, he. I'll, I'll be like, is that too hard? And he'll be like, I can barely feel it. And I'll be like, is that too hard? And he'll be like, I can barely feel it. And I'll scratch as hard as I can. And he's like, yeah, that's that's just right. And I'm like, what the heck? Why is your back so powerful? This is the hardest I can humanly scratch. And you're like, this is a relaxing massage. <laughs> that's how Evan is? Yeah, what the heck? Isn't that wild? I'm like, I can't, like, I am hurting you. Like, I am physically shredding you into pieces. Like, I'm basically doing the equivalent of putting Justin through a paper shredder. And he's like, yeah, now that's it. That's right. <laughs> that's the spot. <laughs> My partner just made some pol delicious potato and leek soup for us. <gasps> oh, I love that for you, Red Jester Productions. Oh my god. That's beautiful. I bet it's delicious. Your partner's MVP for real. Use two forks, not a paper shredder. I'm, I'm going to get some forks. Maybe uh, Justin would probably like it. I don't understand. My back's not that strong and powerful. 
Okay. Wait, where? Oh yeah, this way. Ready to die, everybody? Ready to go get our ass handed to us by this freaking dragon? But not immediately. We're not gonna die immediately. We're gonna spend a really, really long time fighting him, maybe an hour, and then right before he's about to die, then he's gonna kill us. Cause he wants us to waste as many hours of our life as possible. It would be a mercy if he killed me instantly, but he would never do something so kind. Jin, hi, welcome Jin and Doom Hunter. Always ready, hell yeah, noodle. I love this fight. Really? Oh my God, I was- Jin! Thank you! <laughs> Welcome to the top family, Great Kobe Rad! What's up? Thank you so much, Jen, for gifting us up to the community. I'm so happy that Grateful Brad is bust out of ad prison. We'll not have to watch ads anymore because no one deserves to have to watch those stinking ads. If I could turn them off, I would. But thank you, thank you, Jen, for turning them off. Uh, just for just for Grateful Brad. Welcome to the, the, the sub family, Grateful Brad. <laughs> Sounding a little salty. <laughs> about what? About how strong Ch uh, Justin's back is or about this boss? That's the only reason you subbed? Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ray, are you someone who like doesn't, who like is comfortable fighting not locked on? Because that's the only person I can see loving this fight is if you're like, oh yeah, I can lock on, I can not lock on, I'm versatile, I'm cool, I'm good at the game, but that's not me. <laughs> I'm like, why, why can't I lock on to its hind leg? I'm going to die. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Please let me lock on to your calf. <laughs> Who's your favorite boss so far? There have been a lot of good bosses so far. My favorite boss so far. Let me look at my list. That's a big one, you say. Thank you for noticing, Red Jester. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me look at my list of bosses. Which one? Hey, you little piss baby. Eric, hi. You're just in time. I just started, and you haven't missed anything. Yet. I'm just trying to think about what my favorite boss so far is. Okay. My favorite boss so far. Oh, probably Mesmer is up there. Oh, actually, maybe Shadow Retreat Avatar. I love the sunflower. I really like Golden Hippopotamus too. I think my favorite, I really liked Rolana too. Okay, my, mm, probably my favorite is either, visually Ramana is my favorite, but game, but everything together, my favorite is probably so far either Rolana or Shadow's Tree Avatar. Rolana's your favorite too? Rolana's my favorite, the ones you found so far. Rolana was so cool and I just, I don't know, she just was so graceful and dancey and like really fun, really fun to get in the groove with. I stayed on my horse the whole time. Oh, and I just ran around his little legs. It was only successful some of the time, but hey, I got through it. Okay, that's what Justin's been saying too. Literally, Justin the whole time yesterday when people were like, this boss is hard, he's just like saying under his breath, like, use a horse. And if I want something negative about the boss, under his breath, he just goes, use a horse. <laughs> Who's the horse? <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I tried and I'm bad. Justin knows what's up. I'm bad at the horse. I get on torrent and then torrent dies and then I feel guilty and then I die. And then if I respawn him, then he uses a healing potion. So I'll rather just do it on my own two feet. Dragon Hunter Katana users, puny dragon. Oh yeah, I got the Dragon Hunter Katana. And I was thinking, I would have to respec to use it, because I don't have the decks to use it. And I'm thinking, like, is it worth respecing to use it? I don't know. I, I think I should just do it. I think I should simply keep doing the same thing over and over again until they let, they feel bad for me and they nerf the dragon until I can pass. Dryleaf done. We're like, yeah, bros too. Dryleaf Dan is probably one of my top five uh, characters in games that I like to bully and say mean things about. I don't know why. He just, he has a bullyable name. Dryleaf Dane. More like Dry Pussy Dane. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> am, I, am I wrong or am I right? <laughs> Your favorite boss isn't on the list yet. Okay, you'll have to tell me after I find and be like, this one was my favorite. I know Mesmer was the all-time favorite and Mesmer was awesome. I loved Mesmer. And yeah, Visually Dancing Lion is such a cool design. I don't know if Dancing Lion is my favorite fight to do, but I really love the visuals. And Ramana... Um, 
Ramana, yeah, Ramana and Dan Smyre are my favorites, visually. Why are you saying these kinds of things about Dan? Because because <laughs> I'm a mean-hearted person, and when I see someone that is, looks weak and bullyable, I will attack if they are weaker. That used to be an option on Neopets. Do you guys remember that? If you, When you were picking out your Neopets personality, it said, what does your Neopet do when they meet a new person? And one of the options is attack if they are weaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, valid. Yeah, the dancing lion moves so beautifully. I was awestruck by his dancing. Right? I agree. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Raz, hi! What are you saying true to? I don't even remember what I said that you said true to. The, you were saying true to Justin saying to use the horse? My favorite to bully is the poop man. <laughs> that loathsome dung eater, you mean? I beat the last boss over the weekend. Oh my god, congratulations! Eric, that's huge. Wait, wait. I'm gonna fight this boss, but before I go in, I need everybody in this room to congratulate Dippin' Dots in the chat. Dippin' Dots beat the final boss of this DLC, which is so challenging, and that's so huge, and I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. Let's get some hype for, Di for Eric Dippin' Dots. Let's go. Get your hype boom modes out. Woo! Congratulations, Eric. You killed it. Oh my god, that's awesome. I, all I hear is horror stories. I haven't fought the final boss yet, but I know. I know the legends that tell of how hard it is. Alicia, hi! What's up, Alicia? Eric D. Dot, as some might call him. Yeah, there was a little, there was a hype train. Yeah, look at those hype emotes in the chat. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Um, I don't have seven TV installs, so I sure hope this emote works. Oh, I... I don't want to see it, but I see it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what I'm seeing. Is that cheese? Is that a cheese ball on the toilet screaming? <laughs> the final boss is disappointingly easy. Oh, I'm. I'm not even listening to you. Okay, let's go fight this thing. Where is this dragon? Where'd he go? Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not, because my souls are ahead. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I don't believe you do, Hunter. I've heard, I've heard the legends, the legends tell of a final boss that has made at least two people I know quit the DLC. So, and other people I know spend multiple days, and another person on Twitter, aka Kaisana, you'd have to have a therapist come coach him mentally through being able to beat the final boss after spending days on it. So I know it's not an easy boss. Final boss like you try five tries. Well, yeah, if I, you're built different. You have to recognize that. When you interact with other people who are weaker than you, you have to remember to uh, not intimidate them by talking about how strong and cool you are. We've been over this. To be fair, it doesn't. if it doesn't make you quit, it's not a Souls boss. That's not true. There's plenty of Souls bosses that won't make you quit. And honestly, well, okay. What you should say is, if it doesn't make you quit, it's not a Souls DLC boss, maybe. Because I was about to be like, Souls final bosses are never the hardest boss in the game, but Souls DLC bosses are the hardest bosses in the game. <laughs> I am one of those people, yes, who quit the DLC, and you're not the only one. Um, someone came in chat the other day and said that they also quit at the final boss, so you're not alone. Um, we were mortal. Me mere mortals can't match your soul's mastery. Yeah, please be respectful of our shortcomings, Spike. Slave Night Gale took me six hours. You're not the only one, okay? I, I am. I'm so proud that I did well on Slave Night Jail, but I, I, I've seen memes. I've seen memes on Twitter about him being hard. So you're not alone. <laughs> but then I feel cool. Okay, is this not one of the best feelings when you see memes about how hard a boss is that you did really easily? Are you don't you feel so cool? I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. I can't really like talk about how I did really good on him because I have to stay humble. But like, I, I did so good on that boss. <laughs> but I'm so humble though, so I'm not gonna talk about that. Obviously. All right, let's fight this dragon. Can't really. <laughs> Yes, that was me with Ludwig the Accursed. Yeah, that's the best. Demon Prince was the DS3 DLC boss that <laughs> ruined me the first time around. I could go again. Yeah, it's usually an optional boss in DLC that's really mad, though. That's true. It's usually not the final one. I heard people hated the hippo. Really? I like hippo. Also, okay, can we settle argument? Just, you know what I'm going to say, right, Justin? I know what you're going to say. You know what I'm going to say? Okay, Justin is convinced that... 
the golden hippopotamus in this game is a Sonic reference. And I am trying to tell him, no, it's not, this is not a reference to Sonic. And he says, well, Sonic has quills and turns gold and rolls. And I was like, okay, but it's like, rolling wow, is a very common, so what? What? That's not smart. No, wait, no, don't, don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. Listen, listen, this would obviously develop independently of any reference to Sonic because rolling is a very common attack that large four-legged bosses do in Souls game. It's very normal. And, and also gold is a theme throughout Elden Ring. The gold of the Ur tree, the gold of um, America. Gold is just, it's a motif. So yes, it rolls. Yes, it turns gold. Yes, it has quills, but that's just like a fun thing to put on a boss. This is all a coincidence. It has nothing to do with Sonic, okay? Let him cook. No, <laughs> he's not a genius. No. Why oh are you God. all on his side, oh Robin? All, all the rings, the rings are a Sonic reference. What ring? Oh people, my. You get the Elden Ring, that's, that's you the don't, ring. You don't get the Elden Ring when you hit people. Uh, you get the Elden Ring. You, no, when you hit people, you get yeah. runes. You never, you never get an Elden Ring when you hit people in this game. What you, <laughs> he's just saying not to die. See, this is what happens when you guys validate him and encourage him. Now he's just saying wild shit. <laughs> he's trying to tell me that when you hit people in this game, you get rings, but it's not happening. <laughs> Black Knight pulled out the blicky and handed me the business. Oh God. Wait, wait. Eagle Eye Gen Let's really examine this. Oh, man, thank Lightning you. Ram, the Ash of War, oh must God. also be as well. <laughs> this one goes deep. Yes, it's all a Sonic reference, I guess. I, okay, also, I'll tell you the truth. I didn't know Sonic turned gold. I never knew about that. Frontosa Kicklin, let's go. I was like, okay, if it's going to be a Sonic reference, wouldn't it be a reference to, like, something iconic about Sonic? Like, if they wanted to make a Sonic reference, they would probably make him blue. They would call him, like, the blue hedgehog, not the golden hippopotamus. And then Justin's like, the gold Sonic is just as iconic as the blue Sonic. And I'm like, no, it's not. If it was, I would know about it as a lay person. But I, I never even knew that Sonic could turn gold. So it's not even iconic. <laughs> okay. He totally is. <laughs> Did you know that there's a very important gene in human development called, yes, Sonic Hedgehog gene? Yes. Actually, Justin has referenced that on multiple occasions. Um, and that's the reason I know about the Sonic Hedgehog gene. The hippo theme song is basically exactly Emerald Hill Zone. It is not, is it? The entire game. <laughs> oh my god. A lay person, yeah, it's a lay person who doesn't know anything about Sonic. <laughs> Mizaki has confirmed that Sonic is one of his biggest inspirations. Stop! Are you making that up or is that true? Noodle, I need you to tell me right now before I go into this fight. Is that true or did you make that up? Because if that's true, I will literally hand it to Justin. I, I will hand it to him. FromSoft is super subtle, they need to make you think, yeah. In this game, your character can sprint. Sonic can sprint as well, that a coincidence, wait, wait, come on. Wait. You can oh, spike man. fists in Thank the same you. area you get lighting ram from. Okay. You have a Knuckles, a Knuckles reference, reference as well. <laughs> oh my god. You've heard that too? It's true, it's a lie. Okay, alright, I almost believed it. Traffic cone, yeah, you deserve the traffic cone. Have fun with your traffic cone. Um, I'm gonna go fight this boss and lose now. Watch me. Watch what I'm capable of. No lock on, no problem. Uh oh. Minor problem, actually. Red lightning. I'm bad at predicting where that red lightning in that move will go. Okay. Oh, this is when we get the free tail hit, because the fire doesn't reach to the tail, and you get a free hit on the tail. Look at that. He puts it... When he does the fire from him, he puts his tail down perfectly just for you to hit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're doing it. Second roll. Yeah, we're doing it. We're not. We're, we're not doing it anymore. Okay, let's heal. Never assume you have enough health. Oops. Oh, free tail hit. Beautiful.
I miss. So many rolls. Ow. Oops. Oh no. Back to the heal. Wait, why didn't that hit? It should have hit. It should have hit. Any of this? Why can't I hit my freaking weapon? <laughs> All right, time for you hit on the tail. Here we go. No. Nothing. Yo, yo, yo. Oops. Yo. Oh, he's giving us time. I need to find a way more openings. I envy your traffic code. <laughs> Lion, what do you need a traffic code for? Hi, Lion. Rule of thumb. If I'm using biddies, I'm trolling. <laughs> There's no way of life around here for me. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I refuse to believe FromSoft has ever done a reference that is not berserk related. <laughs> That's true. He does like berserk. I know that one to be true. My stipulation for my wizard character in Souls 1 is that my stamina bar must be longer than my health bar. Oh, does that mean you like having a little health bar or a big stamina bar? I think I have a problem. I said after I beat the DLC that I'll take some time away from Elder Ring. Now I see a cool new weapon from the DLC I missed and I want to go back and make a new build for it. Eric, you, you don't have a problem. You have a blessing. You have a blessing called endless enjoyment from one game you bought and don't have to buy more. That's perfect. That's the best blessing you can have. Shitty hitboxes in my souls game. Okay, most of the fights though have shitty hitboxes. But you know, there were a few times where I was like, I think I should have hit. I should have made contact there. I'm just saying. Am I rock? Lancer, hi. I beat the final boss yesterday with the katana. Oh my god, congratulations. It was so satisfying to finally learn the boss. Can we get some hype for Lancer? Congratulations on beating the final boss with the katana. Hell yeah. Hype for Lancer in the chat. Can you jump, jump to dodge the ground lightning? I don't think so. I think the ground lightning's too high, but I'll try. I'll try. I have not played Armored Core 6, no. Are we having cogs problems? Oh, no, we are having cogs problems. No, it's on my end. I see it now. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay, let's just wait it out for a little bit. I'm just sitting here looking at my internet being bad and waiting. Sometimes it goes away after just a few minutes. I thought you meant the boss. <laughs> yeah, let's wait. <laughs> let's wait a few minutes and see if it goes away on its own. <laughs> Can you imagine if you just waited here long enough, the boss just flew away on its own? <laughs> yeah, that is what I meant. <laughs> Took you so long. I bet I've heard it was so hard. That must have been such a feat. I'm glad that you feel like you've really learned it now. That's gotta be so satisfying. You thought the buffering was on your end? No, it's not your fault. Don't blame your ISP. It's my ISP's fault. Nobody use emojis. We'll use all the bands. <laughs> my download's fine. It's just my upload. Like, the download's still fine. I can see what you guys are saying. It's just my upload tank sometimes. 
Um, I thought it might be fixed after the last time they come out. I thought it might actually be fixed for real, but life isn't good, so it's not. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Uh, it just dies of old age. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to fight the boss of my thing is buffering because if I win, I want y'all to be there for it. I want witnesses. Look at him breathing while sleeping. So cute. It's so kind of cute when he's sleeping. He's cuter when he's sleeping than when he's uh, vaporizing my brains out with red lightning. The rain is making the internet bad. It might be. It, is it? Justin, is it raining? Do you know? No. It's not raining here. What about my up dog? What about your up dog? Boss gotta get groceries at some point. <laughs> um, the first part of this boss's name literally means old. Oh my god, Zen! Wow, actually, Zen, you should get community service for that. I, f I actually think people should get community service credit if they say what's up dog to people that mention up dog because they're really doing something nice to someone who's making a joke that's already so old that no one's gonna fall for it, but they are falling for it. Out of the kindness of their heart. If I win, don't worry, it'll be fixed. But <laughs> so glad Santa Sox gets a nap. Oh, it's not going away. You know what? I might try. I think I'm gonna try restarting my router. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes it doesn't. And the times it does help is maybe a coincidence. But I, do, does your game need internet, Justin? No. Okay. I think I'm gonna try restarting my router and I'll be our B friends. I will we'll reconvene here in like five minutes. Wait, 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 wait. It went from red to yellow. Is it gonna go? Oh, it's going green. We're going green. I repeat, my signal is going green. It's going yellow again. It's fixed? Okay, hey, maybe it's better now. Okay, if you, um, if everything's good, you might want to refresh your stream so you can catch back up because it's probably a huge delay. That's what happens when it buffers a lot like that. You get a really big delay unless you refresh. Green, <laughs> yay! Okay, I'm going to go try this fight again. Let's see. I need to do more damage. Mm. But I want to keep my Pearl Drake Talisman. I think maybe I'll get rid of the green turtle talisman because I feel like this fight stamina is not my limiting factor. I want damage. Maybe I'll try this, the improved dodge rolling but increased damage taken. Is that too risky? Let's just try it. Let's see. Let's take it for a spin. Let's see how much it improves our dodge rolling here. It will increase our damage taken, so I might live to regret this. It didn't increase our damage taken that much. Because sometimes the tail end of the lightning hits me right after I get out of my roll, and I think the improved rolls would permit that. Free tail hit! I think I might be on something I just played worse that time, but I think it's not the talisman's fault. Ah. Oh no, my internet's being bad again. Oh no. Oh no, no. Hi, Lord Spikey, welcome. Um, okay, I'm gonna restart my router. I'll be back 
Let's meet back up here in like five to ten minutes. <laughs>